Hey there everybody and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me Cooper and today we're gonna buy some presents for our buddy Dvac because he's our best bro. And we're gonna get- I'm not closing my eyes today, we're just gonna get some stuff. I'm gonna get a historical movie, he might like it, I don't know. We're gonna just keep picking stuff that I think he might like, we don't know what we're gonna get. So we are going to get some eye drops, you know, he's got the, the eyes that are completely bleeding basically, so it might help him out. Let's see, we're also going to get a bunch of things. Okay, he's going to get all that stuff, whether he likes it or not. Um, let's see what else we can get. We're going to get... Ooh, food. Everyone likes food. Let's get any type of food. It's honestly good. Um, what else can we get our buddy D back? He's going to get food again. Yes, that is good. Beef bowl. I would eat a beef bowl. That sounds delicious. Um, let's see what else we can get for our buddy D back. I want to make sure he's a very happy camper, but... Yeah, I haven't been doing as good as I had hoped. You know what? He might like to... Uh, here's a pen so he can write about how much he loves his uh, Underworld King guy. And Dvac. Uh, well, also loves uh, Roman. And here's an energy drink. This can help him stay up late because he doesn't stay up late enough. We only get to hang out for like two duels and then he goes away. Um, stuffed toy horse, duel calculator. Um, you know, he might like a horse. I don't know. It's just like, here's a stuffed toy horse. It's for everybody. Alright, and we also got classic card holder. That might be good. Um, what else can we possibly pull? I'm gonna I'm gonna close my eyes on this one. And we get You know, it's cold at night. Let's get him a hand warmer. Alright, never never mind. I want one more. One more. Ah, I couldn't do it. Ah, I tried, I tried. I wanted to get one of those gold items. You know what? One more. Um, oh no, we can't. Okay, good, good. I'm glad it stopped me. It's like gambling, basically. You just, just can't can't keep doing it. By the way, we need to advance the time so we can go hang out with our buddy. Uh, we're going to go to nighttime, which is around where he likes to show up. And then uh, we're going to go see where he's hiding. Where are you hiding, d -back? Ah, I see. You're with Yusei. Now, that might be an opponent above your pay grade at this moment, so try not to fight Yusei. You couldn't even beat the kids, honestly. But we beat the kids together. Don't you dare get in my way, Yusei. You can give me gifts, but don't you dare try to partner with me. I'm trying to be with my best bud right here. Hey, what's up? I'm going to give you some items that you love. So, here's a present. Uh, you get a historical movie. Everyone likes the history movies. Hey, he did like it. Alright, good. Uh, I'm going to give you some eye drops. Uh, you could really use them. Yeah, okay. He doesn't He doesn't realize. Take the hint, buddy. Uh, here's a, a thing. Okay, you, you could care less. Got it. Here's another thing. You could care less. Got it. Here's some silver card protector. You could care less. Got it. Uh, let me see. What about some food? Everyone likes food. There's no reason you can't. These are okay? Eh, alright, I'll try better. How about a beef bowl? We all like some beef, right? Yeah, that's what I like to see. Food is good. Uh, how about a fountain pen to write about what you want to write about? Eh, it's alright, he'll take it. An energy drink to keep you up at night? <coughs> okay, he'll take it. Uh, what about a stuffed toy horse? This one I was kind of questioning. Eh, I didn't think so, okay. Yeah, I was questioning on that one. How about a classic card holder for your Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Yeah, that's what I like. He likes some classic. How about a hand warmer? It's a little cold at night. Yeah, he likes it. All right, cool. And how about some kid shoes? Do you have a child? You don't have a child. Okay. Understood. Understood. You don't have a child. Would you like, would you like to partner up with me? You and me just go dominate the world together. I will become a servant of the Underworld King, as you wish. Um, let's see what we can do out here. We can go fight our buddy. Our old buddy. Someone that deserves respect. Oh, God. This is the worst. Okay, well, at least we get short circuit. Uh, ooh, Raviel. That's cool. Plague Wolf. Don't know much about. Evil Hero. Okay. Grinder Golem. I don't know much about that card either. Uh, I wanted to fight you, buddy, just because it's fun. But it seems like you're surrounded by people I don't like. So... I might just fight you myself. Okay. Yeah, I really don't want to duel five Cs. I hate those characters. I really hate them. All right. It's not just about looks in this case. It's their decks are way too strong for what they are. It's it's just too much. All right. So we're going to go ahead and go first, everybody. And we're going to defeat Callan. And then we're going to see. Callan has an amazing entrance, but it's okay. We'll see that in the tournament. We've got another tournament coming up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start the duel with Twilight Rose Knight and actually go for uh, my Dandelion. Because this is actually the best combo. Because I do have level 6 uh, Synchro Monsters that are good. I could also go for an Exceed Monster, but I think level 6 Synchro would be better. 
Uh, we're going to summon the Queen of Thorns to make it so my opponent has to pay if he tries to summon any non-plant monsters. And I still get two plants out of the deal, so I could summon Giga Plant next turn. Yeah, you see, this is a really, really strong start. I don't think I can be stopped anymore. I think this duel is over. Um, obviously, one Mirror Force could change everything, but let's just assume that's not going to happen. So, let's see what Kallen decides to do. It's really bright on his background. He is willing to summon a monster. Um, it's really weird how bright it is on the background, given that we are playing at night. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We're playing at night. Um, he does play two trap cards, which I will find out if they're busted. Uh, that card's useless to me. It's, it, it does, he doesn't even have, he still has a card in his hand, so I'm fine with it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and summon the Giga Plant using my other token. And I don't have to pay because it is a plant. And then we are going to go into battle phase. We're going to destroy his Infernity Monster, because that card is a problem. And then we're going to attack with Giga Plant himself and destroy you. And next turn, I'm going for game. Next turn, I will defeat you. There will be no chance of coming back. But we'll see how it goes. And because you have to pay to summon a monster or even set a monster, you can't... Oh, you can't... Okay, you don't have to pay to set. I'm an idiot. It's special summon or summon a monster. Got it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and normal summon our Giga Plants. And we're going to try and win the duel this turn. We're going to activate this card's effect. And we're going to special summon Titanial. And then with Titanial on the field, I feel extremely safe. And I have enough damage showing to win already. So I'm just going to go with this. I have a lot of other ways to win too, but this is all I need. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Goodbye, Infernity Guardian. You did not. You still had a card in your hand. I'm afraid the AI really just doesn't know how to use its deck. It's, it's kind of a sad situation. But that is going to be it. Turn 5 victory against our buddy, Callan Kessler. But he's out of here. I'm the winner. And me and my buddy, Divac, are going to go do a tag duel against some people that are actually fun. Not these 5C characters. So let's just get out of here. Yep, don't even want to look at you. Let's go somewhere where there's a lot of characters that I know and love. Um, oh, not not too many crowds of characters I love. That's the problem. Um, you know what? We're going to take on Akiza. I think that'll be fun. Plants versus plants, and then hopefully she picks a beast partner, which I think would be great, because then it would be the perfect match. So let's go ahead and take a duel. Yes, I'm teamed up with this guy. I know you're not happy about it, but we are going to destroy all the signers. Rio is going to try and help her out. I'm not going to let that happen. If I remember correctly, Rio in Tag Force 7 uses evil sores or, the, you know, the reptile dinosaur deck. Um, the only other dinosaur deck in the game. There's only three dino decks. Rex Raptor, which I created. Tyranno, which is the only dino deck that has a, from a main character. And, of course, evil sores from a page three character. So, let's go ahead and see what we got here. Now, Divac, you start the duel as usual. You know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh, so I trust you. Mojo with King of the Beast. There we go. Finally, he actually draws his King of the Beast. That's actually a good card. So, with that, I feel like we have a better start than usual. And she's already got her Lone Fire Blossom. Son of a bitch. We are not stronger than Titanial. So, even though I was very happy to get... Oh, she went for Gigaplant. That was weird. Does she not have Titan? Oh my god! It's a level 10 Synchro. Okay, she did, she can't do a level 10 Synchro. That would have been insane. That would have legitimately been insane if she had gone for something like that. Um, We are going to figure out a way to win right now. I only can do this. I can summon Botanical Girl. I have my own Wall of Thorns ready because I believe she has one as well. Um, We need to destroy the Spore and the Giga Plant. Both of these monsters need to die. We have everything we need to destroy them, so I'm going after them. We're going to try and destroy you, Gigaplant. You're the one that matters. Don't get me wrong, that Spore card matters too, but I don't know if Rio even has Synchro, so... Because we don't know what Rio's deck is in this game. Alright, good start from us. Really good start. Her back row couldn't protect her monsters. Uh, he has Hand Destruction, which really sucks, or actually is really good for me, because you don't really want Titanial in your hand, and the Grave is better. Uh, he's going to Hand Destruction again, um... Again, this is not bad for me. I can get Giga Plant back from the grave, so that's a win. And hand destroy. Well, that's a little cheat. At this point, now I'm starting to feel like he's cheating. Um, I'm gonna just I'm gonna keep these two cards in my hand. Throughout everything, I'm keeping those two. So 100%, this man is cheating. Literally trying to deck me out like that. Um, greed. Only if we draw cards when we're not supposed to will that matter. Uh, Berserk Roll is a great beater monster. I love it. Uh, wow! He has Destiny Hero Defender in his deck? Are you kidding me? Holy crap, we're in some trouble here. Don't forget, guys, Berserk Gorilla has to attack. It's not, it's not an option. Damn, that sucks. Uh, Mark of the Rose also sucks. Okay. Yes, Wall Thorns would not work. 
Which of the... Oh, level 8 Synchro. What is she going to make? Son of a bitch. That's such a good card. Thought Ruler Archfiend is so good. Alright, at least... Oh, crap. It's his turn, not mine. I can't even get Botanical Girl's effect. And they heal 2,000 life points. Wall of Thorns, Dark Bride. We lost our Wall of Thorns. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Everything's falling apart right after Arkiza's turn. Um, obviously... Oh, we drew a card. Uh, obviously, I have Monster Born. I have Giant Trunade. Uh, we gotta guarantee that this works, so I'm gonna go with Giant Trunade first. We have to make sure this works. Uh, Mark of the Rose is annoying, but screw it. We're gonna activate Monster Born on the Titanium... No, on the Giga Plant, because I can still Normal Summon this turn. Um, on the Giga Plant. Then we're going to Summon Titanium. They already healed enough life points, so we gotta really beat them down right now. We gotta get our revenge. And she's the one that has all the good spells and traps, so that means we if we can beat them before she gets a turn. We'll just beat them before she gets another turn. We're gonna give this to King of Beasts, actually. I know it's a little strange, but we're gonna give it to the King of the Beasts. Um, and we're gonna set this up. So, we're going to attack. We already have enough attack points to beat him. We don't even need the other monster. Uh, we're gonna do a shit ton of damage, but because they healed 2,000, we can't even end this duel. We wanted to end the duel, we couldn't do it. They healed way too much. And we still have Solemn Judgment to stop any comeback card he attempts. He already threw away most of my cards, which helped me out in the end. And he's out of cards himself, so top deck of the gods can't save him because I have a god on my side. As long as my partner is willing to use Solemn Judgment, we won the duel guaranteed. Giga Plants special summon my other Titanial. Very good play. Normal summon, 8 Fighters, great. Nothing wrong with that. We have 6,500 damage. Hero Shadow Scout, you don't even need to stop that one, Solemn Judgment. We're cool. Yeah. And 6,500 damage. That's what I'm talking about. It's over, folks. It's freaking over. We got Rio and Akiza. All right. That duel was a lot more stressful than I thought it would be. She went with the psychic form instead of the plant form. So that was kind of scary. But we did good. We did good. All right. Is there anyone on this side of the map? Not anyone I need to face. So let's go somewhere else and try to fight someone in Mortent. Ah, uh, someone important. You know what? Let's not do that. Let's go do something random. Let's go to an area and just fight whoever's there. We're going to Satellite Square. So whoever's here, I'll fight. Doesn't matter who they are. I, uh, I've already said it. I'll fight that lady. Alright, I got myself one of these cards. Oh, I don't even know what her deck is. Good. I probably fought her before, but I've never fought this deck of hers. So, new opponent, everybody. And her tag partner will be a cop. Wade. Okay, Wade probably has Glad Beast, so get ready, everybody, to suffer. But we're going to do our best not to suffer. I'm going to go ahead and go for Rock. Damn it. I'm going to go ahead and go for Rock. There we go. And just like that, I'm going third, which is way better than every other situation we're in. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Holy License, that doesn't sound good. Don't Feed the Troll, that sounds hilarious. All right, her deck is called Don't Feed the Troll. I think that is a very hilarious deck name, and I should have called one. Oh, my, they don't let me name the decks that long. That's why I can't be as funny. That's 100% why. It's not It's not because I'm not funny. All right, Attack Regulation immediately gets MST'd. I don't even know what that card does. Um, Wave Motion. Oh, she's a burn deck. Crap, is she stall burn? Draw power burn? You can only activate this card when you and your opponent each have five or less cards on the field. This reigns on the field. The total number of cards each player can have are five. So we are now we're limited to five cards on the field, which is fine. I'm actually in a situation where five cards is enough. It is kind of a stall deck, though, so that's annoying. We're going to go ahead and summon this girl. <coughs> we're going to go ahead and flip Berserk Gorilla because we want to do some damage. Uh, we will Synchro Summon, but not yet. We're going to go ahead and attack first. We have more damage attacking than we do Synchro Summoning, just barely, but we have more. All right, and then after this, I will Synchro Summon because I want to make sure they can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. Just because she wants to play passively doesn't mean he does, so I can take advantage of that. And with this, I'm going to Special Summon. Oh, I could also make a level 7 one if I wanted to, but no, honestly, I do want to make my Queen of Thorns. I love the idea of my opponent burning themselves just trying to play Yu-Gi-Oh. It makes me feel good. Even though my partner will also bur burn us when we try to play Yu-Gi-Oh, it's fine with me. Uh, we're going to set this and this. Now, I know it's like, Cooper, you're filling up. You only can have five cards on the field. But Call the Hane will get us our fifth monster if we need it. And if we don't need it, we don't need it. So we'll see what they end up doing. 
And he pays 1,000 life points to special summon Dark Greffer. That's actually a really good card. I'm kind of surprised. He's got legend... Okay, he's a lot of draw power on their side of the field. Dark Greffer uses its effect to throw away a monster. And Queen of Thorns is going to stop another special summon, which is Scab Scar Knight. Okay. And yeah, they're really out of life points here. So hopefully we can just win by battle. I don't know. Okay, everybody. We're paying a lot of life points, but we're summoning... Oh, King of the Beast. Damn it. That was not as good as it could have been. Oh, but we get our monster back, so I guess it's fine. 2,500 damage would win us the duel, so... Yeah, we win! <laughs> there we go! Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. You know what? That was good. That was good. I'm taking that as a W. We're the winners. That's how it is. I lost, just like always. Alright, we're like... I oh, we can't hang out with DVAC anymore. The game really hates me. It really doesn't want me to hang out with my best friend. All right, Dvac, you stay where you are. I'm just going to go uh, maybe do one more duel. Maybe. Oh, you sons of bitches. The week has ended. Now I got to go to Martha's place. There we go. Martha, I'm looking for Blister. He knows everything, and I have money. Hey, Cooper, thanks for... TG Rush Rhino. TG Rush Rhino. Wow. TG Rush... He gave me a, a full set of TG Rush Rhino and TG Wonder Magician. Holy crap. And Warrior of Traditions. Okay, and Practicals. And Instant Fusion. What the hell? Why did he give me so many good cards all of a sudden? Get, get, just take my money. Take whatever it takes to give me information. And also, is that my buddy, Can you, My mushroom buddy. How have you been? I have missed you. When the page three tournament comes around, I hope you and your mushroom deck can go all the way. Obviously, the odds of that are almost zero. But do it anyway. All right. Well, we're going to go first. It's just the right thing to do. And then we are going to see how we do against them. So, Mushroom Man, I got my plant deck. You have your plant deck. It's not really a plant deck, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah. I want to see if I can beat you. I have Dandelion to start, or I could just go with Sangan to get me Lone Fire Blossom. And that's exactly what I'm going for. Plus, I started the duel with Mirror Force and Sword, so I can't lose this duel. There's no way I can lose to Kenyu like this. Kenyu starts the duel with Mist Archfiend. That's a kind of a strange card, unless he's going to creature swap it, which I highly doubt he's smart enough to do that. But if he is, then damn. I will be outplayed. Or not creature swap, but there's a cards where he can just give it to me. Alright, well, Mr. Archfiend's gonna die and he's gonna pay the price for it, so that's good. Uh, Lone Fire Blossom is great, but instead of doing that, I'm gonna summon Twilight Rose Knight. Twilight Rose Knight is going to summon my Dandelion. And with these two monsters, I'm gonna make the monster where if he doesn't summon a plant monster, he pays for it. Because if he goes for Mr. Archfiend again, I want him to pay for it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go work Queen of Thorns. There we go. And I'll have two tokens left over, which is nice. So if I draw Giga Plant, I won't even need Lone Fire Blossom. I can just go straight for Giga Plant. It's a win-win. Uh, either way, I'm not even going to play Swords, even though I know he could just summon our Mist Archfiend. I don't think he will. And if he does, I'll make him pay for it. And he's willing to play 1,000 for Mushroom Man number two. I'll admit... Wait, that's a warrior! Mushroom Man number one is a plant. Mushroom Man number two is a warrior. I don't know how that works, but that's how it works. And I love it. All right, well, we got ourselves Mushroom Man, and we're paying for it. But I'm happy to have him on my side of the field. We're, he's lucky we can't destroy him. If he didn't have any cards on the field, he'd be dead right now. That Swords is saving his goddamn life. But instead of that, we're just going to go ahead and get rid of you. And we're going to use you to get me a Giga Plant. There we go. And then, at least I could do some damage, because I could use his um, Mushroom Man number 2's effect. I'll pay a little, but he's also going to have to pay a little. <laughs> Terrible card, I love it. It's so funny. Maybe I'll make a Mushroom Man deck one day. It won't work, but I'll make it. Alright, he's going after my Lone Fire Blossom. I'm sorry, your monster's too strong. I have to Mirror Force it. If I don't Mirror Force it, it'll constantly be a problem. Yeah, that's right. You better play in defense mode. Alright, now I'm going to activate this card's effect. There we go. And I'm going to get rid of my Lone Fire Blossom. We're going to tribute Lone Fire Blossom and we're going to get ourselves a monster. We're going to get Titanial. And Titanial being on the field means I have protection now. But I'm also going to summon Giga Plant. We're going to use Giga Plant's effect. We're going to bring back, let's say, Lone Fire Blossom. And then with Lone Fire Blossom's effect, we're going to summon Titanial. And then this field is so stacked again. Like, this is sad. How stacked this field is. He may have gotten swords to save himself, but there's nothing he can do. There's not a single card he can play to stop me now. I have won this duel ten times over. I, I honestly... The only way he can stop me is if he gets swords three more times and kills me with Mushroom Man slowly. 
And even then, I wouldn't let it work, so it do doesn't matter. He can't win the duel. Uh, my field is stacked. Alright, and he can't even summon a monster without hurting himself. Alright, I activate my guy's effect again, and we're going to summon our ultimate monster. Because it turns out, all of these other cards, they're not even our strongest monster. I'll show you what our true strongest monster is. I activate our effect, and I'm going to summon the strongest card in my deck. I'm going to summon Botanical Lion. And even though the other girls are at 28, he's at 3,100. He could take down a Blue-Eyes White Dragon. So, let's go ahead and start destroying face-down monsters. It's time to destroy him. He's got Sangan. Alright, what do you get with Sangan? Mother Grizzly is good for... Oh, you're going to try and get Amiibo on me. I know you. I know your strats. Um, Mushroom Man! He played it. He could have played that face up. It wouldn't have hurt him. But at the end of the day, it's over. I attack with Botanical Lion. You see, that card normally would suck. But I had Titanial, so... Yeah, that would have normally hurt me quite a bit, and I'm impressed that he has it, but no. I have Titanium, so. We lose a few attack points, but we still have enough to win the duel. 28 plus 28 equals death. We did it, everybody. Ken Yu's going down, and we are going shopping. <laughs> I want to go shopping now that we've made some money. He's not worth money, but we've made some money. All right, come on. That was so lame. Sorry, buddy. We used to be partners. Don't forget that. Way back when. Attack Force 3. Good, good times. That was a long time ago on the channel, but it was a good, good time. So, ooh, we got a free card. I really hope you like this. A stuffed toy cat? That's so nice of you. What's the free card, though? Who dropped it? Malefic Stardust Dragon? The Malefic World. No, okay. We got actually Malefic Stardust Dragon. That's kind of interesting. Um, Let's see. Packs I want to open today. We're going to open Dark Signer Pack. All right. We're going to open... Let's see, what's not 100? This pack is expensive, and we're still going to buy a lot of it. There we go, because we're rich. And that's going to be enough. So, we're going to go with Dark Signers and the expensive pack. Whoa, Moon Dragon Quilla. All right, now we just need Sun Dragon, and we're good. Granted, Dark Tuner suck. Frozen whatever, Fitzgerald. Frozen Fitzgerald again. It's probably not its name at all. Dark Tuner Submarine thing. Okay. Dark Tuner again. Sun Dragon, okay, but that's not the Dark Tuner version. That's interesting. Dark Tuner Submarine again. Okay, game, come on. Come on, give me some variety here. Dark Diviner, at least that's a little different. Let's see what else we can get. Dark Tuner Submarine again, god damn it. Alright, I'm asking for something different. Okay, Dark Diviner, but in Dark Tuner form. Got it. Dark Diviner again. Okay, game. Variety. Do you not understand the word? If you don't, I'll figure it out a new word. No? Okay. Okay. Another Dark Tuner card. No, no, no. Come on. A Fusion Monster. I'll take that. A Fusion Monster is more interesting. That's more my speed. Uh, Zaman, the Ape King. All right, I like that. Uh, another... Okay, Frozen Fitzgerald, but in Dark Tuner... Or Dark Synchro form. There we go. Uh, what else can we get? No, all the same cards every time. Okay, that one was new at least. That one was new. No. Okay, so this pack is the rare pack or the expensive pack. Let's see what we can get. Fossil Excavation is actually good for a dino deck, so that's good. Inmato is a funny card. I like that card. Um, Blue Thunder is actually a pretty good light monster. Light Machine Monster, good for a Cyber Dragon deck. Falcion Beta, not really for me. Uh, BAS Assault Core. That actually is a good card. No lie. It's like level 4, so it's good. DDR, whatever. No need. Um, that Chameleon can be useful. Looking at the rest of these. Ninjutsu Art's good for a ninja deck. Not like we have any ninjas. We might... Oh, we got the... Oh, Solar Flare Dragon. Are you serious? We got Solar Flare Dragon? Holy shit. But Big Core, we got the original monster. That's really cool. It used to be called like B... Uh, e no, it used to be called Big Core. That's awesome. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I want to thank you all for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you all next time when me and Dvac take on the world and probably get his second heart mission. Bye bye everybody.